Hi, I'm Lindsay Farrell, here with Allison Ford. Hi. Tell us about Yali. Um, well, my name's Allison Ford, <laughs> and I'm a junior. Um, I'm a volleyball player, and I'm a double red shirt, actually. Uh, my major is criminal justice. Very cool. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you a couple questions about your nutrition habits and uh, types of foods you eat and stuff. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, what are your feelings on whether or not a greater emphasis for a balanced diet is put on athletes compared with others? Um, I feel like there is a greater emphasis, but it's not that much pressure. Like, we're more informed than, like, the average person, I feel like, would be on, like, how to fuel ourselves. But, I mean, it's not like our coaches are, like, forcing us to eat healthy. Um, I mean, unless we're on the road and they're picking our meals. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> otherwise, I mean... You, we make our choices, we make our own choices. So there is a greater emphasis in, like, the training we get and the information we're given about nutrition. But um, I wouldn't say, like, we're not, like, forced to eat healthy, if okay. that makes sense. You should, yeah. but you're not forced. Okay. Um, do you feel like you personally uh, do pretty well in getting daily recommended nutrients? Yeah, I do my best. <laughs> I have good days and bad days, but some days I'll, like, we food journal on the volleyball team, so some days I'll look at my food journal and be like, wow, I haven't had any veggies, so I'll go and, like, take a couple handfuls of spinach and just eat it raw, just because I need to get some veggies in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very cool. Um, how do you feel that what you consume affects your performance or your endurance? Um... I'm somebody that really needs to eat before I play or work out. Um, I know a lot of athletes are different, especially males. They, like, don't like to eat as much, I believe, before they work out. But, um, you know, I have to eat before I work out. And I feel like if I have something gross, like my freshman year <laughs> before practice sometimes, I'd get Chick-fil-A. And every time I did it, I was like, I'm never doing this again because I just feel disgusting and just can't perform as well. But um, And I don't anymore, and I'm really careful about that because, you know, you live and you learn. But also, I'm lactose intolerant, so I know if I, like, accidentally ingest cheese or if I purposely ingest cheese <laughs> before I play or work out, I'm not going to have a good time and I'm going to be in a lot of pain. So, um, yeah, it does affect my play. Okay. Sure. So you mentioned you're lactose intolerant. Where do you get your calcium from? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> um, occasionally I take calcium supplements, but not often. Usually I just try to eat a really well-balanced diet and eat a lot of veggies and rice and protein and just try to get it in through there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, how seriously do you take into account the nutritional facts label when purchasing foods? Um, I definitely consider it when getting canned items like okay. soups, um, like broth, that sort of thing. Or I'll get, like, canned beans or something, and I always check the sodium. Oh, I also get, like, frozen meals. They're, like, protein bowls, and they're actually really not bad for you. And it has good veggies and, like, protein and rice in them. So I usually get those, and I always check the sodium, especially sodium for me because I need to be making sure I'm drinking enough water to balance that. Um, but I – oh, but I don't calorie count. Okay. I don't know. Like, we never are told as athletes to calorie count because it's just, I feel like it's a dangerous path where you're, like, count, checking off every yeah. calorie. That makes sense. Okay. Very cool. Um, what kinds of foods do you typically rely on or prefer to get most of your nutrients and provide you with energy? Um, Maybe meats. I guess not cheeses. Yeah. <laughs> Dairy. I feel like it depends on the meal. So for breakfast, my first breakfast, <laughs> I usually just need something in my stomach. So I'll get, like, cereal with almond milk. Or maybe just like a little English muffin just to fill me up a little bit. And then before I start my day, I usually have eggs. So I focus on, I guess, proteins. Mm -hmm. And then for lunch, I try to get rice and chicken. I usually have like a salad. I, that's where I usually get my veggies in. And then for dinner, I just try to fill up with like either rice or a sweet potato or something like that. Okay. So I don't really focus as much on like meal to meal. Like it's just kind of like my routine is go with it. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Um, do you consider water an important everyday consumption? Yeah, I'm somebody that has has to drink water. If I don't, I, sometimes I'll realize I'm, like, getting a little moody, and I'll be like, wow, I haven't had water today, have I? Okay. <laughs> so it's definitely super important, and I notice that when I get in, like, a good habit of having a lot of water, like, maybe, like, like four or five bottles a day, I'm just, like, a happier person. I'm, like... Mm -hmm 
way better, like my productive self. I know a lot of people don't feel like that, but I definitely do. Water is really the only thing I drink other than a cup of coffee every day. Okay. Yeah, so I think it's really important. So you kind of touched on this, but do you, do you have an amount you strive for each day? Amount of water? Yeah, so maybe four is a big, a really productive day, but maybe you strive for two, one. Um, so we're actually told on the volleyball team that we're supposed to be getting three to five bottles a day, and that depends on really, like, how much you sweat and, like, what kind of person you are and, like, your habits. But you should, I mean, if I don't get three bottles a day, then it's a bad day for me. Okay. So I really focus on that. But, um, and three bottles is, like, what? Like, maybe, like, 80 to 100 blue ounces. So I do focus on the amounts of water I drink, for sure. And we have to log it. Every time we drink water, we have to log it. So I just try to, like, steadily drink throughout the day with every meal, maybe have a glass or two, and then take one with me if I go somewhere, just like a cup or a water bottle. Yeah. My goodness, you have me craving water now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, me too, actually. <laughs> well, great. It sounds like you have some really great nutrition awareness and facts and keep yourself on a tight schedule. So, well, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, of course, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. Mm, bye.